Welcome back everyone. I just want to show you what I'm going to try next. I'm going to try planting onions. Now I've never grown onions from seed so this is going to be a first time for me. But I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and I've been watching videos from gardeners that I know are very successful so we'll give it a go. Now according to them they say to sprinkle it on the dirt and I have the dirt moist because I know that these seeds are tiny. And sometimes if you scatter seeds on soil that's already dry and then you go and drown it with water, they, they get like washed away, they, they disappear. So since the seeds are not big, then you don't have to plant them very deep. So my goal is to see if I could get these to grow and then take out the individual ones and put them in single pots like this and just see if I could do it. If I can't do this and it's not going to give me onions successfully, then I'm just going to have to buy the bulbs. Um, but they all say that when you buy the bulbs, the onions take longer to grow. I don't know why. So we'll try. I don't know. We're in zone 5B here, southern Indiana. When I lived in Texas, uh, 45 minutes northwest of Houston, it was zone 8. Uh, my onions were huge. They would grow like the size of baseballs. It was nice. I love the, I don't like the heat. I'm not a heat person, but let me tell you, the best gardening I did was down there. But you know, when jobs move and you move, and, and I'm always going to love gardening, so you have to adapt and you have to learn for your area. So we're going to see if this is going to work. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, so I have them planted. What I did was I sprinkled them everywhere, put a little bit of soil on the top, I mean a teeny bit, and then I just pushed it down a little bit so the seed makes contact with the soil. The soil is damp. So what I do is I have a water bottle. I just give them a quick little spritz, and that's it. They're good to go. Now, these seeds are all started on heat pads down here. These are gardening heat pads. They're not the type that you use you know for your body um, so we'll see when these are uh, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna sprout but once they do will I be able to <laughs> successfully move them and and uh, and see if I'll get any of this year if not I will keep you updated I mean my videos are you know I'm not the perfect gardener I give I give everything a try and I do my best um, but when I do something wrong and something doesn't pop up, I will tell you so you learn from my mistakes. And then hopefully we can encourage each other. Um, because, you know, this is a lot of work. This stuff starts in January. And I usually garden through the end of October into November. So it's, it's a chunk of the year. But uh, it's really good because, I mean, when you taste something from your garden, it just, I don't know, it, it tastes a lot better. Plus, it's healthy for us, and uh, Frodo outside, the garden rabbit, he'll be getting fresh food from the garden every day, even though we give him stuff from our kitchen every day. It'd be nice to just pick it and give it to him down there. So hopefully we'll be able to, to keep this going. So I'll keep you guys updated, and God bless.